What about the music? What about the music? Hmm? I'm looking for my practice logs. Before you know it, those are going to turn to practice. The kids in the Bronx are particularly meaningful to us because so many of our heroes come from the Bronx. And the chance to teach them about Tito Puente and Machito and some of the heroes that came from and were raised and or lived in the Bronx is a privilege for us. The Afro Latin Jazz Alliance teaches kids, we give them instruments. We don't judge what they're listening to, but we give them the chance to learn Afro Latin jazz and use it as a tool to teach all about music. Let go, let go of the weight. Relax your weight. Relax your weight. Yeah. Beautiful. Now improvise. Ready? I'll play the bottom of the face. Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't want to improvise. I don't like improvising. You have to. You have to. You have to improvise. I can't. It's easy. No, I don't. Just use any combination of white keys. Ready? Get up. Improvisation is part of life. Sometimes you get up in the morning and you have everything laid out nice and calm, right? You know how you're going to get somewhere to your job or your class or your appointment and everything is set up perfectly for you. And then a truck turns over on the BQE and you forgot your wallet at home and the dog vomits on the kitchen floor and all of a sudden you're making stuff up just to stay alive, right? Does that happen sometimes? That's called improvisation. So you're going to have to improvise in life and on, at the instrument, at your job, in school. So no matter what you do, life is partly improvisation. It's not all control. So that's why, that's why I mean, to me, it's real important. Just have fun, man. So the Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance is trying very hard to step in the gap and uh, help the situation by providing students uh, with instruments, instruction, and ensemble experience. <laughs> Our master teachers are usually members of the orchestra itself. If not, they're closely aligned with our members and go into the schools. And quite frankly, we find funding to hand a young person a trumpet or a saxophone or a bass. Or, and then we uh, work very diligently to give them as private instruction as we can, usually no more than three or four or five students per teacher. It is by far the greatest thing that we do.